Mabel is a one-of-a-kind kid. I mean, I can definitely learn a lot from her. We all can. Mabel Nagel is nine years old, and she's in the fourth grade at Innovate Academy in Eagle. This past summer, she was diagnosed with cancer. While she fights this terrible disease, she is inspiring everyone around her. Her mom, who you just heard from right there, her school community, and even other patients at St. Luke's Children's Hospital. Maggie O'Mara has the touching story about a whole school coming together in tonight's Seven Zero. Over the summer, Mabel Nagel was in McCall with her family for the 4th of July. She had developed this kind of lump on her jaw. Her mom, Gloria, knew something was wrong and took her to the hospital there. They were able to do a CT scan and find a mass on her jaw on both sides and, I mean, sent us right away to the St. Luke's Children's Hospital in Boise. She has lymphoblastic lymphoma and so the mass that was on one jaw was on the other as well as her sinus cavity um, and her ribs, uh, all over her bones and um, many places. It was shocking. Mabel has been in intense treatment ever since to attack the cancer in her tiny body. Each round looks a little different, but she um, is uh, right now working on four days this week and four days next week, and she's tough as they come. She usually has a smile on her face. Her very favorite place to be is at school, which is pretty amazing for a nine-year-old. Um, so she says this is her happy place. And so when we can go and get chemo and get to come back to school, that's a pretty great day. She goes to Innovate Academy in Eagle. Her mom actually started the school. Mabel's friends are so proud of her. Many of them have gone to school with her since preschool. She's uh, dealing with cancer right now. She's very, very strong. She's a really, really good friend. They miss her so much when she's gone, and that's why they have Matilda the monkey. Well, when Mabel's gone doing, getting her treatments, we have a little monkey that sits in her chair. We take the monkey to our specials and everywhere we go. That way, Mabel is always with them. She at home had put together this raggedy looking tissue box that she had decorated in paper and put 25 cents on the outside of it and said donate to the hospital. She brought that tissue box to school and asked her friends and teachers to collect coins. The money just started pouring in. She just has a really giving heart, so one way that she feels good about everything is um, she'll bring snacks and pack these snack bags for all the kids at chemo. And um, when she sees them get one, she just lights up. She thinks it's the coolest thing that you know somebody else got to be happy which is really amazing. That's actually one of our pillars here at our school is service and community. And really when you're thinking of others and you're serving others, you come second to that. Her fourth grade classmates are certainly proving that to be true. These kids took the idea and ran with it and brought all this money, decided they were her support squad. So we raised money with the shirts and everybody just kept giving and giving. And now here we are, $6,500 later. She wants to raise the money, and then she wants to bring the money to the hospital and buy more blankets and toys. And we just wanted to show our support for Mabel and raise awareness in general for childhood cancer. Because it's giving back and it feel, like, makes me feel good. We chose to have a gold day for pediatric cancer awareness, and then it just kind of blossomed from there. Mabel wasn't feeling well on this special day, but she knew the whole school took part. There was even a hot air balloon on campus. Mabel's mom was simply overwhelmed by all the support. I'm not surprised at all. I'm just very touched and I'm I know that my kiddo has some of the best people around her. As you can see, nine-year-old Mabel Nagel is inspiring everyone at Innovate Academy. And I'm so proud to be part of a community that gives and has such a big heart. Seven's hero. Maggie does such a great job bringing us those stories. If you have an idea for a Seven's hero, people who are doing something awesome, and inspiring things in our community like the students and staff at Innovate Academy, you can contact Maggie O'Mara, let her know about it.
please do that. We'll be right back.